We're with Harriet Bihar of the Midwest Organic and Sustainable Education Service. Harriet, organic, fresh, non-GMO, local, what do those things mean? Only organic has a legal definition. The rest are kind of made up in the marketplace, whatever the marketer wants it to mean, uh, and feels that it will resonate with the people they're trying to get to buy their products. But organic actually has a law and a full verification system behind it with annual inspection and documentation and the full enforcement of the USDA to uh, make sure that everyone who's carrying the organic label meets the same requirement. Okay, so if I buy a plot of farmland and I want to grow and sell organic produce, organic crops from it, describe for me in general what are the basic steps for the certification process? Well, you have to be at least three years free of any prohibited material, conventional fertilizers, chemical herbicides, uh, before you can harvest an organic crop. You have to do uh, basic soil improvement. You have to use natural inputs. Uh, you have to work to improve your environment uh, that would maybe bring in beneficial insect habitat for pest control. Uh, and there's, uh, there's a whole list of things that you need to do if you're growing vegetables. Vegetables. vegetables are actually a pretty difficult crop to grow organically because uh, pests just love them, but there are a lot of organic methods in place to prevent those problems and help the farmer do a good job. Okay, and the certification process, is that done directly by the USDA or by some other entities? There are 80 different certifiers that are approved by the USDA to do the certification, and then the USDA does go around and audit those certifiers to make sure that they're implementing the organic law correctly. So a producer would contact a certifier and then uh, send in an application. The certifier would assign an inspector and send them out there for the annual inspection. That inspector writes a report and then the agency decides if they can get certification. Okay. And you indicated that uh, organic is not just about not harming the environment but actually about helping the environment. Could you describe that a little bit more? Yeah, it's, it's really about improving the environment. Organic is very much based in uh, improving the natural resources. Uh, so we do soil improvement through the use of animal and plant uh, inputs. Uh, we look at having pollinator habitat, beneficial in habit, uh, insect habitat. Uh, we do crop rotations. It's really a systems-based approach rather than inputs. Uh, and we, we do look uh, any materials that we allow in organic, we look at the environmental and human health aspects in their manufacture, use, and disposal. Okay. Now, from the consumer's perspective, I mean, we've talked about the kind of label confusion there is, mm -hmm. but the, what the other thing that consumers care about is the cost. And in general, are organics more expensive, and if so, why? Well, I think if you went to like a farmer's market, you probably would find that the organic is not that much more expensive than the conventional. But if you look at processed foods, the organic would be more. So I would say if people just, instead of buying boxed macaroni and cheese, they just bought some macaroni and made a little cheese sauce, uh, they would find that the organic would not be that much more expensive than the conventional. It really depends on uh, when you get down to the convenience food level with more hi uh, highly processed food packaging foods, uh, yes, you're going to see a higher price. Now, it's true that the uh, organic produce can be higher than like in the grocery store, uh, but the organic, because we work so much on soil vi vitality and balance the nutrients, I think you, and we, it has been shown that some organic produce is higher in nutrients too. So you're not paying for empty calories or empty nutrients. You're, you're actually buying food that is nutritious as well as healthy for your family. Okay, and finally, just in general, is the organic industry growing and generally healthy? Yeah, and I didn't talk about that. Yes, we've been having double-digit growth for decades. Uh, at this point, we're at about $46 billion in 2016 with uh, no, no uh, slow slowing down in sight. Uh, we see both at the farm side, more farmers wanting to get into organic, and we see also the consumers uh, organic. And the demographic of the organic consumer is not necessarily tied to income, it's tied to education. So the higher, the more we educate our populace, the more people will buy, buy organic. Okay, I think that's all I need. Thank you very much. You're welcome.